Today, I'll be showing you how to turn a blank, soulless, lifeless project, with the cat of course, into a zombie. zombie. The first thing to do is to delete this soulless cat. We won't need him. We'll start off with making the backgrounds. I'll click on Backdrops and click on Convert to Bitmap. Let's click on the Fill tool and I'll be choosing a grayish brown color. The color of dead grass. Okay, so now that we have our ground, we need to have our player. Let's click on paint, and I'll call this player, of course. I'll zoom in a little bit, and for the player, we'll, we're going to be having it looking down from the top down view. So let's click on the circle tool. I'll set the outline to black, and have the outline of 5 and I'll change the fill to white just so we can see it more easily. And a cool little trick, if I were to draw my circle, it's coming out uneven. So what I can do is hold down shift and now you'll see it's scaling at the right size. And if I hold down alt, I'll make the circle from the center of my mouse. So that's really cool. So now that I've made my circle, let's click on the select tool and let's center it. You'll see that cross here right there. Make sure it snaps to the center. I'll scale it down. So now we have our player. And he needs some arms. So let me draw some arms. And he's going to be holding a gun. Not the best art, I know. But you can change it later. Okay. So now that we have our player, we need him to move around. When the green flag is clicked, let's go to control and drag off forever. If we are pressing the right arrow, so key right arrow, then let's move forward. I'll drag out change x by 10. If we are pressing the left arrow, and instead of dragging out another if then, we can right click on this block right here and press duplicate. So that's a lot faster way of creating blocks. So I'll change this to if key left arrow pressed. Then we need to move backwards. So let's change x by minus 10. Let's try that out and you'll see we can move back and forth. But we can't move up and down. I'll right click and duplicate this block again. But this time we need to detect if we are pressing up arrow. And we can't use change x by minus 10. Instead we'll use change y by 10. So that will move up. And then we need to move down. So if key down arrow pressed, let's change y by minus 10. So now we can move in all four directions, left, right, up, and down. And we can move diagonally also. Cool. Let's also make the player face towards the mouse so we can start shooting. So let's drag out point towards mouse pointer and I'll put that at the bottom. So now he's pointing towards the mouse. Now we need to make the player shoot a gun, because that's what this thing is. I'll paint a new sprite, I'll call it bullet. Let's zoom in here, and for the gun, I'll just make a red uh, rectangle. That's a lot too big, so let's make it smaller. Okay, I think that's good. So, now that we have our bullet, let's click on our player sprite. And we want to shoot the bullet if we are clicking. Let's drag out when green flag clicked forever. If mouse down, then create clone of myself. But we don't want to create the clone of the player. We want to create a clone of the bullets. Let's click on our bullet. Let's drag out when I start as a clone. Let's show the bullets. And we want to go to the barrel of the bullet right here. So let's drag out, go to random position. I'll select player. And let's drag out point in direction 90. We want to face in the direction of the player. Let's click on sensing and drag out backdrop number of stage. Now this doesn't look like a direction of player yet, but if we were to select player and direction, now it's point in direction, direction of player. 
Then let's drag out, move 10 steps. I'll change this to 20 maybe. And then this is the part where, we, where we're going to make the bullet fly forward. So let's drag out, repeat until touching edge. Just so the bullet won't move forever, it'll stop right at the edge of the screen. Let's move 10 steps. And then if we're touching the edge, let's delete this clone. So let's try this out. I'm going to click and we create a bullet. And you'll see that if we were to hold it down, we're creating oh so many bullets. Yes, it's like we have a machine gun or something. But we don't want this. I mean, if you wanted this, that's fine. But I certainly don't want this. Let's click on player and drag out. Wait point. Wait one second. Wait one seconds. I'll change this to something like 0.5 maybe, so half a second. And now we are creating one bullet every half of a second. If we start the game, you'll see that there's this annoying little bullet on the screen and it does nothing at all. Like when I shoot, it doesn't even move. Let's drag out when green flag clicked, hide. So that should go away now. So we have our shooting and we have our player. All we need now is some zombies. Let's paint a new sprite. And this time I'll use a dark green because zombies are always green. So dark green right there, very unnatural. I'll hold down shift and alt again and make a perfect circle. And I wanna make it a little bit smaller than the player and I'll put it in the center of the screen. I also need to make him have some little arms that are outstretched just like a zombie. And there goes our zombie. Of course, I'll rename this to zombie. What else would it be? And now we need to make the zombie follow the player. Let's drag out when green flag clicks, create clone of myself. And then hide. Now, when I start as a clone, let's go to a position on the screen. I'll change this to 240 which is the right side of the screen. And for the Y, I'll type in zero for now. Now, let's repeat until touching bullet, move 10 steps, and let's point towards the player. Now, if we're touching the bullet, let's delete this clone. And of course, we also need to show it show the zombie. Now let's press play. So you'll see a zombie spawn on the screen and oh it is so fast. I'll change this to move three steps maybe because zombies are pretty slow. And now when I shoot the zombie it gets deleted. Now we just need to have multiple zombies on the screen. Let's drag out forever. Create clone of myself and then wait one second. So we should be creating a clone about every one second. So you'll see I just took out a horde of zombies right there. And that's about it. Now it's up to you to add sound effects, a score, and maybe even zombies that are harder and faster than these ones. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like these, and peace.